Why does Ubisoft seem to screw it up every single time they get the chance? What's going on, guys? Welcome to another episode of Smash JT. And Star Wars Outlaws has been revealed with a release date and a trailer and all this information coming out today. It's very exciting for people like me that were really excited about getting their hands on this new game from Ubisoft until we saw this on the bottom. Every time Ubisoft has the chance to knock it out of the park, they swing and miss, even when the ball is seemingly on the tee. Star Wars Outlaws is set to release on August 30th, 2024 on PlayStation 5 and Xbox. And holy crap, internet required to install the game. Has to be the cheapest, the sleaziest out I have ever seen in the gaming industry. And no matter how good this game is, I am going to boycott it because I am not going to perpetuate this madness. Hit the subscribe, give me a like, and check out SmashJT.com for the full article breaking down this interesting situation regarding, let's be honest, a game that I was genuinely excited to play, even though it's coming from Ubisoft, a studio that doesn't seem to know their head from their feet when it comes to making video game decisions. Although Prince of Persia, The Lost Crown, which is a Metroidvania that made me start to think that maybe Ubisoft was starting to turn that proverbial corner and actually decide to be a real triple A game studio. And then they followed that up with having their triple A or in their words, quadruple A title, Skull and Bones, which fell flat on their face. And here we are with another game that has huge potential, Star Wars Outlaws, and maybe it will be game of the year. Maybe it will be 5 out of 5 stars or 11 out of 10 on the Metacritic scale, and everyone has to play this game because it's so great. But unfortunately, this decision by Ubisoft, which breaks down to them just being cheap, let's be honest, they could have made this a two-disc set. One disc with the data and one disc to actually play the game and have the information on it, a la akin to Final Fantasy VII Remake and Rebirth. But what do they do? They take the cheap way out. They find the cheapest way to do it. They put all the information on a server and just make the disc a license key. You put it in and it spins and it says, oh yeah, Outlaws, you need to download this. Like, there's no use to this, and this is a direction that I refuse to support for the video game industry moving forward. And I'm not alone on my thought process here. I go through the YouTube comments underneath the new trailer that got released, and it seems like every other comment, if not more than that, is saying, it's Ubisoft. Remember, do not pre-order. This is Ubisoft. They're going to let you down. They're going to trick you with their trailer. They're going to make it look so much better than what it is. And all these people are saying the same thing. And this is all because of Ubisoft doing this to gamers. It's like the fool me once, shame on you. Fool me twice, shame on me. Fool me three times, and I am a customer of Ubisoft. That's what this feels like right now. And people are getting smart to it. They're keeping up with what Ubisoft has been doing to them over the years. And they've had it up to here with being taken advantage of from corporations like Ubisoft. It gives all the power to Ubisoft. All the information, all the data, all the storage is on their servers. You do not own anything. You will own a game coaster and be happy because this will do absolutely nothing when that fateful day of Ubisoft goes out of business comes and it doesn't have anywhere to connect to to download this game. Whether that be two years in the future, seven years in the future, 15 years in the future, there will be no way to play this game on your PlayStation 5 or Xbox without access to a digital storefront. And with the Wii U and 3DS storefront closing recently, and before that we had the Xbox store going down on the 360, this is an inevitability. And the people that are perpetuating this are the gamers that don't seem to care about the reality of the future. And by buying this game now, it tells Ubisoft and the rest of the video game industry at large that you don't care who owns the information. You don't care about anything about the game. You just want to pop it in and play it, have a good time, a long-term rental, if you will, and then 
move on to the next thing, which is exactly what companies like Ubisoft want. It's a double win for them. One, they don't have to pay for a data disc to be made, a secondary disc, heavier packaging, all this other stuff that goes into the physical release of it. And in addition to that, they can control the license key on it. They control the information on it. They can decide how long it's going to last for forever. There's no rules, no laws, just like I talked about in my previous video and Ross Scott from Accursed Farms trying to take on the entire video game industry, starting with Ubisoft, ironically, and the crew, and how they took the crew offline. And yes, I understand this is different because it's not a online only game that you need to connect to the internet every time you want to play it. But the fact that you need to connect to the internet initially to download the information means that you do not own the information. You don't own the data. You don't own the disk. Someone else does and they can control the data flow from it. And by purchasing these, it enables them to keep doing it even more. It's a slippery slope that I want no part of. So Sure, for those of you that were excited about Star Wars Outlaws coming out to PlayStation 5 and Xbox Series S and X, I guess, I don't even know. You can play it, you can not care about it, and you can give all the information to Ubisoft. Let them own the rights, the digital rights of this game. You will own nothing, and apparently, assuming the game's good, hopefully you'll be happy at least for a short period of time, but that is the all digital future that these game companies want us to go down. And I, for one, am taking a stand here and will not partake in this no matter what. This is why I wonder why Ubisoft thinks that they should sell their games at full price on first day and then they go half price like a week later every single time because of bonehead decisions like this from the corporate level down, they make the decision of not giving the value to the customer and then get confused as to why people aren't buying their games. This is a problem and it starts with us, the gamers, the consumers taking a stand against them saying, yeah, no, nice try, game looks fun. I'm sure you put a lot of work and money into it, but unfortunately at the very end, you get to the finish line and you say, yeah, we could have spent the a few more bucks and have the other disc for the person and have them actually own the game. But no, we're Ubisoft. We make really dumb decisions every chance we get. And then we wonder why we're losing money hand over fist with seemingly every game we make. They treat the customers like crap. They treat the employees like crap. And when things aren't working out, they use and abuse people. They bring them in, churn and burn, and then spit them out on the other side. Ubisoft is exactly what is wrong with the video game industry at large. They are a microcosm. They show everyone else exactly what not to do. They are the blueprint of a failure of an organization. And this is just another feather in an overflowing cap of a company that can't tell how to put a game out the right way. I am so furious about this. I'm pretty sure you can tell it. I've tried my best to not be screaming the whole time because the acoustics in this room are terrible. I don't have my microphone and I'm still upset about that. I'll get one. But right now, I had to make this rant about how Ubisoft falters once again. I don't know how they keep staying in business. It's gonna be just Just Dance. That's the only thing. They just keep putting out Just Dance. That makes all their money every year to keep them, <laughs> enabling them to make games really good and then make really dumb decisions at the very end of it. And it's just like, God, Ubisoft, listen to the consumer, do the right thing. Your customers want you to succeed. We want you to make good games. We think you being out there as a company could be a great thing for the industry. But as it stands right now, it's anything but. Anyways, that's the information that we have right now on Ubisoft Star Wars Outlaws requiring internet to play. Again, if you want more information, check out smashjt.com for the full article. I will link it in the description below. Let me know what you guys think about Star Wars Outlaws being a required internet download game. If this is something that bothers you to the point of, like me, not wanting to partake in purchasing it or playing it, or if you overlook it because at the end of the day, you just want to play a fun game. And if this game is fantastic, you don't really care who owns it at the end of the day. Let me know in the comments. I'd be fascinated to hear. Thank you so much for watching. And as always, you stay smashing. Smash
Master J Smash.